I used to hate going to the gym. I wouldn't understand why anyone would want to go to the gym. I mean, there's that extra time that you have to travel to get to the gym, and then you're sweaty at the gym, and then you have to come home and shower. Like, why would you want to spend extra money and extra time to work out? So for quite a while, I was working out at home with a couple adjustable dumbbells, a pull-up tower dip station. But I started going to the gym in February because of this guy I heard on YouTube, Scott Galloway, who said, Get mentally and physically strong. Take economic responsibility for your household. Get out of the house as much as possible. Try and find things where you're building something in the agency of others. I don't care. Every day you should be around strangers. Every day. I don't care if it's work. I don't care if it's church. I don't care if it's nonprofit, a softball league, the gym, classes, whatever it is. You need to be around a massive number of strangers and finding reasons to have bump off of them and find economic and personal and platonic opportunities as often as possible. We are a social species. Get to a city, get around a lot of people, get out there every day, start making money and become really strong. Get out of the house every day and mingle with strangers, interact with strangers. And I thought, okay, fine. And if I'm gonna get out of the house every day, I might as well make it going to the gym. That's the best thing I can think of. So I started going to the gym since February of this year, 2024. It's now May, so it's been a few months. And even today, I didn't feel like going to the gym that much, but I'm like, well, might as well go. So I put on my gym clothes and I went and I immediately felt good and did not regret it at all. And it's not because of working out and I'm sweating and that I feel better afterwards because I worked on my body and working towards my goal of 1% better every day, getting a bit more jacked. Obviously, I got a long way to go if you look at me. The working out part, the feeling good part, the endorphins, sure, that's okay. But that's not why I feel feel good going to the gym. It's because of the gym bros. As soon as I got to the gym, I'm like, oh, hey, Kevin, good to see you, man. And then another guy, Ed, he was like, oh, hey, Paul, how's it going? He's like, how's your long weekend? So we chatted for a bit. He was asking me some questions about my background because we didn't really talk before. So we got to know each other. And it's these mini interactions where I'll just see uh, someone that I said hi to before and I just like smile at them and wave if they're far or just nod or if they're nearby, I give them a fist bump. Hey, what are you working on today? They're like, legs, how about you? I'm like, oh, me too. And it wasn't always like this. It, I wasn't always the social guy at the gym saying hi to quite a few people here and there. I mean, it's only a few people, but a few people make a big difference. When I first started going to the gym in February, I just did not talk to anyone and I just worked out by myself, work out and go home. But after going to the gym almost every day for a couple weeks, I noticed the same people that I see every single time that I go. So one time I worked up the courage, there was this guy I've been seeing like every time, every day I go. So I went up to him during his break and I said, hey man, I see you every day, what's your name? And he said, Baran, he's like, Baran, nice to meet you, I'm Paul. And he's like, I see you every day too, man. And I was like, oh, he noticed me. And of course, like people notice other people who are there all the time. Case in point, there was another guy that I've seen and just been like nodding every time I see him. After I came back from my trip from Germany, I saw him and I say, oh, hey, man, it's been a while. I didn't never really talk to him before. I said, I just came back from Germany. And he was like, oh, that's why I didn't see you for a while. I said to my friend, like, hey, where's that guy we used to see all the time? He's not coming anymore. And my absence was noticed, which was really nice. Like, they were like, where's that guy? That was really nice here. And I got his name, Sam, and I even got his Instagram with Sam and Kevin, his other friend. And I would say the social aspect of just nodding and smiling and saying hi to these people, even if I don't really have a chat with any of them, just saying hi, nodding, smiling, boosts my mood way more than even working out at the gym. So now when I go to the gym, it's an instant mood boost. I see some familiar faces and say hi, and I feel so much better for the rest of the day. So if you don't talk to anyone at the gym or you're thinking of going to the gym, but you don't think you can talk to anyone because you're too shy or anything like that, I would say the easiest place to say hi to people is in the locker room. When they're putting on their jacket, I just say, hey, I've seen you around every time I come. What's your name? Oh, Michael, nice to meet you. And I fist bump them. 
Some of them are a bit chattier. They'll ask me questions. Some of them, the interactions are much shorter and just like, okay, see you around. But yeah, the locker room is like the easiest place that I found to say hi to people because they're not busy working out. But even if they are working out, there's always a lull when they're taking a break. So that's the perfect time to go up to them. If they have headphones, I just wave at them a bit and then they take their earphone out. And that's when I say, hey, I've seen you here all the time. What's your name? And then I get their name and fist bump them. Oh yeah. And I also compliment them every single one of these guys that I say hi to. They're absolutely jacked. They're massive. So after I say I see, I see you here all the time and I introduce myself and get their name, I usually say, you're absolutely massive, man. You're so jacked. And they'll be like, oh, thanks so much, bro. I never thought months ago when I was starting going to the gym in February that I'd be on friendly terms with all these gym bros. But now it's the best part about going to the gym. So if you already go to the gym but don't talk to anyone, Try this out, what I told you. And if you don't get out of the house much like me, I think joining the gym is great. Man, today it took me like four hours to decide on a video topic. I did script on a different topic before this morning about what it's like growing up in Canada as a Korean. And I was gonna talk about it, but I wrote half the script and later I just did not feel like talking about it. So I wanted to talk about something else and it took so long to decide on the next topic. Ah, I gotta find a more sustainable method to come up with a video idea that I wanna run with. But anyways, I will see you in two days. 1% better every day, baby.